All right, everyone, strap in. This is going to be an unpopular vlog. Hey, everyone, how are you doing? Uh, this is a vlog that I've wanted to do for a while. Um, uh, haven't had the guts to put it out, uh, cause I know it's going to get a lot of heat. This, yeah, people are not going to be happy with this vlog. And the put, the, the, the thing that pushed me over the edge that wanted me to make this vlog, I'm sure that you've seen this probably thousands of videos on YouTube about baby it's cold outside. Uh, I am at the point right now where enough's enough. It, it, it's absolutely ridiculous. And thinking about this and talking to different people and just generally, where is this coming from? My generation. My generation is the reason why we have all this. Everyone's offended by everything. It's as parents, when, when I was a child, basically, a parent would tell you, the radiator is hot. Don't touch it. If you touched it and burned your hand, well, you were dumb enough to touch the radiator. You burn your hand. You learned not to touch it again. My generation uh, with our children is we would build a safety zone around the, the, the radiator. We would put padding. We would put lights. Rather than letting the, the, the younger generation learn from their mistakes... We take out all of the mistakes. And, and as a parent, I, that's, I, I don't want my child to be hurt. I, I don't want them to burn their hand on a radiator. It's, you know, it, common sense. But they don't learn that way. Uh, by, by, we do everything for our children today. Uh, we... I remember when, when, when I was little, I remember a doctor saying to my mother, you know, you let them play in the dirt. That's how they build up these antibodies. Our, the kids' lives today are so sterile. That's why everyone's getting sick, is you don't have these antibodies that, that protect you from getting sick when you're older. One of the problems that I have... And like I said, this is a pot that is probably going to get a lot of hate is the way that society is dealing with bullies today. And let me explain why I feel this way. In the schools today, you, there are, there's no bullying, no bullying, which on the surface is a great idea. My problem and my issue with it is rather than no bullies. Teach them how to deal with a bully. I'm not saying violence. Uh, you know, violence isn't always the answer. The reason why I say this is throughout life, you are going to deal with bullies. When you get into the, after they graduate from high school, graduate from college and get out of that safety zone. When you go down to the workplace, there are bullies in the workplace. And the problem today is the children that have been raised through this no bullying don't know how to handle no bullies. Or don't know how to handle the bullies, I should say. Uh, when you're in an employer, an employer doesn't want you going running to them saying that this person hurt my feelings. They don't care. They really don't care. All they care about is that their company is making a profit and that you are making a profit for them. Whereas if we taught how to deal with a bully, how to stand up, how to protect yourself, you wouldn't have a lot of the workplace situations that are happening now. Even in the schools, I think a lot of them would have been alleviated. My, when, when I went to school, I was bullied. I, I was bullied. I was the fat kid throughout school. Up until I got into high school and I found sports. 
even now, I'm the chubby one, okay? But you learn to deal with it, okay? You learn how to handle these people. Bullying is a human instinct. If you're the, the strongest survives, okay? That is, that's a, a basic animal instinct. The strongest will survive. And I know people will say, well, we're humans, we're better than that. No, it's, it's an instinct. You cannot change an instinct. And my belief, again, on this is teach the children how to deal with bullies. I, I, I think if we had done that throughout the years, we wouldn't see the problems that we have right now. Uh, and it goes, there's other things also. I, I've said many times in my vlog how I disagree with how youth sports are run. I really do. I think youth sports are a lot of the problems with the children and the young adults today. Uh, the not keeping scores, everybody has to play. I sat on the bench when I was a kid. If I wasn't one of the better players, you didn't play. You had to earn that spot. You had to earn things. Things aren't given to you in life. And you also need to learn how to lose. That is my biggest pet peeve, is that when you have these leagues that don't keep score. I think that my opinion is it is more important for a child to learn how to lose than it is to win. In the point of, in life, you're going to lose 10 times more than you're going to win. And that's if you're lucky. Uh, I've lost many times uh, my, through, through all my youth sports, and I played. I don't. I think I had one team that won a championship. But I learned how to deal with that. I learned that that means that you have to get better. And it's the same thing with my vlogs. My vlogs aren't the greatest in the world. I mean, they're on the lower end scale. I mean, I'm not a professional on this or anything. But what I'm learning by losing viewers, uh, not getting views on, on, on videos and all that stuff, I have to get better. Maybe I have to touch controversial subjects like this and, and to make people think, you learn from your mistakes. It, that's all of these, these sayings. They, they have... There's meaning behind them. When it comes down to the point of who is responsible for the problems in our society today, I come down to the parents today, okay? Myself included. I, I, I am fully part of that. Where we don't allow our children to make the mistakes that we made and learn from them. We don't allow them to fail and learn from failing and let them learn that it's not a good feeling and that they don't want that feeling anymore. So, like I said, that's my take. Uh, I know a lot of people aren't going to agree with me on this. Uh, leave me the comments below. I, I'm a big boy. I'm not going to be hurt. I'm not going to feel like you're bullying me. Leave me comments below on, on what you believe. Do you think that I'm right? Do you think that I'm not right? Do you think I, I'm totally off base on this just just like I said leave me the comments like I said that that's I, I wanted to touch the baby is cold outside that that just that was the thing that pushed me over the edge <sighs> there's more important things in this world to worry about than a song that was written back in the 1940s that the, it's more important things so anyway thanks for watching I do appreciate it I had to get that off my chest if you like this video please hit the thumbs up below. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, if you want to subscribe, click the subscribe button below. A little thumbs up icon right next, or excuse me, a little bell icon right next to it. Hit that bell icon, you'll get a notification anytime I put up a vlog. Thanks for watching, I do appreciate it, and I will get back to you guys soon. Leave me a comment.